So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to tie up one of my favourite rigs. Uh, it's actually the first rig I ever learnt to tie. Just adapted it over the years and uh, yeah, very happy with how it is now. It's just the classic blowback rig. Um, my main thing about this rig is how easy it is to alter so you can make it longer, uh, change the colour of the coated braid and it suits a wide variety of different fishing situations that way. So there's a couple of little things that I do differently to what you would have seen before. So I'll tie it up for you and yeah, hopefully you can put it in your own fishing, get some fish on the bank. So first things first, need to sort out the braid. So in this video, I'll be using the semi-stiff end trap. I've got that in gravel brown colour and the silk colour. I've been using that since I started fishing. I've got great confidence in it, really like the coating on it. But you know, whatever you've got confidence in, just go ahead and use that. I do like the semi stiff version just because I like the idea of um, sort of it's less prone to tangles and it's almost got that reset uh, when a fish picks it up and maybe doesn't get hooked. So I'm going to strip off, I'll be using it over a gravel patch. So I'll probably have that about four to five inch long rig. Um, but I'll strip off about 10 inches just so I've got enough sort of rope to play with when I'm making the knots. So of that 10 inch braid, I'll strip off five inches. So I'll do it with my teeth, but if you've got a strip at all, use that. So there I'm left with five inches of uncoated braid and then five inches coated. So that just gives me a lot of sort of braid to play with and at the end of the rig I can adjust all the lengths and sort of trim it down to the length I want it. So what I'm going to do now is tie a little loop in the end just to form the hair. I know some people like to when they form the hair uh, actually put the bait on just so they know the exact length. But I just like to make sort of a standard length hair, usually just under an inch. And if anything, you can extend that hair if you need to uh, by use of sort of extended hair stops. A lot of companies do them now. So just trim that tag end. And the next thing I'm going to do is put the hook silicon on, which will hold that hair in place on the shank of the hook. Now, some people use rig rings. I like hook silicon. The main reason being is that I used to use rig rings, but I found that sometimes when you cast, it actually tangles. So the hair can sort of loop around the shank of the hook, make the hair sit at a weird angle, make the bait sit funny. And yeah, it's just something I was a little bit paranoid about. Whereas with the hook silicon, you know, it's going to be sat correctly on the cast. When you cast out, it won't move. So that'll be sat perfectly on the bottom. And then when that fish does pick it up, blows that bait back, it will shoot back along the shank. Hopefully you've hooked that fish. But if you reel in and that silicon's been pushed down to the end of the hook, you know you've had a pick up and something's gone wrong. Whereas with the rig ring, it can sort of reset itself uh, when you're reeling it in. So it's just another little tip. You can see if you're being done or not. So I'll get the hook next. Here I'm using the curved shank in size four. That's a quarter one. Um, I use the curved shanks a lot. I've got really good uh, confidence in them. Also, you don't have to use shrink tube with them, so that's saving yourself money as well. But I like to just use curved shanks. I really think they set the hook hold home a lot firmer than a lot of hooks. And yeah, it's got great confidence in them. So when we're putting the hook silicon on, I'm pointing the point over to the right, laying 
the rear on top of it. So that point is pointing towards the hair and then you'll put, just slide that hook silicon on and pass it over. And you want it sitting, some people when they use wide gape hooks push it all the way down the shank. I like it sitting just opposite the barb but just a little bit down the, it's almost there. That's where I like it. So just almost in the middle of that curve as it starts to go around. I like the way that it sits the hook at a nice angle when it gets picked up. So now we've got the hair that's maybe just a little bit too long. Just want it just under an inch. So I'll sort that out there. That's a nice length. And then we'll put the hook on, attach that with a knotless knot rig So I like to go five times up and then just once over it, pass it back through the eye, going down, pull that tight, give it all a little pull. So I use my scissors. If you've got a pull at all, use that. I've got one, but I've just got my scissors to hand. I'll give it all a nice little pull down. Um, for all intents and purposes, that's that rig tied really. All I like to do in the end of it, as I do with most of my rigs, just strip away a little section in the end, tie a little loop because I like to use quick chain swivels. Also I like to use an anti-tangle sleeve. So I'll put that on there, strip that last little bit. And then just tie an overhand figure of eight loop knot in the end. I use my needle again just to help me get it nice and neat. That leaves me with a nice little loop in the end that will be passed over the quick chain swivel. Give it all oh, good pull, tighten it all down. And then that anti tangle sleeve will just sit over that like that. And then you'll see that I've got, I'd say about two centimeter break there, which just gives that hook the movement it needs when it's in the fish's mouth to move around find purchase and set that hook hold. So as I said, if you were fishing that over a silty area, you could make the hook length longer, um, obviously change the color of the uh, braid as well, just to really camo that in. But that is a rig that will catch your fish. If you want, you can put a little bit of putty just where the coating starts. Not too much, not a massive blob. I just like to use about that much. So it's a tiny little bit, just so when that's in the fish's mouth, that will drop and promote the hook to sort of set down. But on your hand, like that. And that sets and sets and sets. So that's a brilliant little rig, especially paired with those big hooks. You know, that'll find uh, the perfect place in the fish's mouth to catch hold. And uh, yeah, use it. Touch wood, you shouldn't drop too many fish. Cheers for watching, hopefully that's shown you a little bit of something different. Uh, even if it hasn't, it's just putting more confidence into the rigs that you're using. So, there's the few rigs that I use across these couple of videos I've just uploaded. 
use them, and yeah, go out and catch those fish. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you soon.